Welcome to 30 and 5 on 560WIND.com. I'm your congenial host, Mike North. Happy Thursday to everybody. Don't forget, I'll be on uh, Saturday night from 6 to 9 on Fox Sports Radio, foxsportsradio.com, north to north.com, and XM169, Sunday night from 9 to midnight on 560WIND. Also on Fox Sports Radio, foxsportsradio.com, XM169. So uh, you get a little, but you get a lot. Of yours truly, Mike North. Now, first off, uh, charges in the Trevon Martin case, or the Trayvon Martin case, excuse me, a murder for George Zimmerman, second degree. Uh, how many people here think that uh, basically this baby is uh, all signed, sealed, and delivered? How many people think he's going to get a fair trial? Raise your hand. This, this is unbelievable. And his parents yesterday, and I feel their pain, said basically, you know what? Let justice takes its course. We don't want any problems. We don't want any action. But you didn't finish. What happens if he's found not guilty? Then what do you want? I mean, that's the deal. I mean, there's a lot of pressure on the state's attorney. It went from a case that basically nobody cared about to now, all of a sudden, he's a, he's a mass murderer. I mean, basically, we're going to find out what happens here. Now, the gun went off. He shot the kid. He was told not to follow the kid. They're going to have x-rays of a broken nose. They're going to have uh, pictures of his head that aren't from an upstairs camera. They're going to try to say it was self-defense. They're going to try to come in and do everything that they can do. Here's what I do know. There's a kid dead. Okay? There's a kid dead. But there's also a thing called self-defense. Whether he was told not to follow him or not, that ain't the point. If the kid's on top of you, that's a problem. That's a problem. And anybody thinks that that gun was uh, basically that he just took the gun out and just shot him like that and there was no struggle, you can think that. This will all come out in court. So you got to have an opinion. Everybody's going to have an opinion now. Everybody's jumped to judgment already. I know some people who already got the guy convicted. And until, if we learned anything from the uh, Casey Anthony case or the O.J. Simpson case, I'm sure a lot of people went like this. But guess what? It ended up like this. So you got to let the case play out. And justice, I believe, will be done. I didn't think George Zimmerman was going to show up, to be honest with you. I thought when he was missing that basically, hey, maybe this kid took off. The fact that he is there is one good thing for sure. They don't consider him a flight risk. Okay? But is he? We'll find out. It should, uh, it should be interesting. Stella Foster, who got all over Jay Cutler and Kristen Cavallari for having a baby out of uh, wedlock, uh, taking a beating in the Chicago Sun-Times for the double standard today, basically saying uh, yesterday, congratulations to D. Rose, and I broke the story, and I, and I give Stella Foster 100% credit for stepping up today and saying she was wrong. She was wrong. But it's sort of weird. She congratulated Beyonce and congratulates Derrick Rose, but Jay Cutler and Kristen Cavallari, you know, were bad people and other athletes. So I would say this to Stella. Stella, don't be so obvious. That looks a little bit too obvious. And I've been a friend of Stella Foster for a long time, but I give her credit for stepping up to the plate. I really, really do. Also, today... Their cards are in, your cash is out. I don't want credit cards anymore. I'm, I'm getting scared. We were just talking about phone records. Big Brother is watching you all over the place. Watching you all over. And, you know, we were just talking about the Bobby Petrino situation. Bobby Petrino, from my guy who just told me, Corey, I guess made 4,000, over 4,000 text messages between him and the lady, over 300 sub phone calls. In, in, in dawn, dusk, before games, after games, halftime. I mean, it's not good. And I guess there's the Freedom of Information Act, which means stuff's going to come out, okay? White Sox win a big one yesterday where the Chicago Cubs right now, very underwhelming, and Marlon Birds won for 21. So uh, we'll let the chips fall where they may. We know that the Cubs are going through a rebuilding year, but you want to be competitive. And you know what? I don't know if they're competitive right now. That's the whole ball of wax. 
It's weather today, outside beautiful. Have a great day. Hey, spring is sprung. Get ready for the Three Stooges. I'm Mike North here on 560WND.com. Flood Brothers Disposal and uh, Recycling Services are professional waste haulers. Now, the Flood family is big on service. It's our number one priority, and we offer extremely competitive pricing because the Flood family is here to help you in this tough economy. Remember, at Flood Brothers, we build relationships, and the only thing we're big on is service. Call us at 773-626-5800 or floodbrothersdisposal.com.